Hi, this is Ron Martinson of OneRotBlog.com, and I'm going to do a little demo today of printing from Lightroom, and um, we're going to be doing it to a Canon IPF 6300. So you can see that in Lightroom here, we're using version 3.4.1, and we're using an eval image that I like to use for uh, printing. Um, for print resolution, because we're using a Canon printer, we're going to set that um, PPI to 300. Um, I always do a little print sharpening. It's up to you whether or not you want that. And because it's available, I'll do 16-bit output. This is avail only available on the Mac. Um, the PC, you don't get this unless you're using the uh, export module uh, in DPP or Photoshop. However, I've been un unable to see a difference with 16-bit on or off on the Mac. And so for the profile, I'll be choosing the Premium Photo Luster Highest HP, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, if you don't see this option in here, click on Other. It'll bring up this dialog and just locate it in the list, which unfortunately can be a little challenging. Um, for the rendering intent, options are perceptive, perceptual and relative, and I prefer perceptual with the Canon printer. Um, like uh, on Epson printers, I generally prefer uh, relative telemetric. You can always print both and see which one you prefer. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the print driver. So because Lightroom doesn't support the Canon export module, you have to use the Canon printer driver, which I don't believe is as good uh, as what you get from Proto uh, Photoshop using the export module, but it's not bad. So with my printer selected, come in here and I'll take a look at each setting. For uh, color matching, because we're set to um, uh, the fact that the uh, printer will, um, or excuse me, Photoshop will do the color management, um, then uh, you don't get an option here for uh, either of these. So it's just disabled, disabled and ignored. Um, paper handling, I don't make any uh, changes from the default. Leave it the same. For main, this is where the meat of what you need to do is done. Um, I have the media type selected to my paper. If for some reason I didn't, um, it was a different paper, I can click get information. This is a cool feature of this driver, and it'll ask the printer to tell it what paper uh, it's using, and then when it comes back, uh, you just make the selection. It'll actually prompt you uh, to confirm. Um, I'm going to choose for print quality, I'm going to choose highest. And the reason why I'm going to choose highest is because I want to be able to do 16-bit printing and I need to do um, high precision photographs. Um, this is what I find I get the best results on. It is a little slower sometimes, but it uh, works very well. <clears throat> Next up, we'll do page setup. And for page setup, I'm printing to a roll. And I'm going to say enlarge, reduce, but the reason why I want to do that is I want to say print it exactly at 100%. Don't scale it. Um, I don't want to waste paper, so I'll do that. And I'll say rotate it just to make sure uh, it's in the most optimal position to save paper. Um, for utility, I don't do anything. For additional settings, uh, I say print now and support, there's nothing there that we need. So that's all of our settings. We choose print and boom.